Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, I've now finished uh, painting up this Hive Tyrant conversion. So if you haven't seen my previous video, I've got this walking tyrant. I already have one flying tyrant and um, I want to make this one interchangeable so I can have him into, in both versions. So, uh, he already has magnetised arms, the scything talons and the uh, devourers, the same as this one. It's got uh, magnetised arms. But uh, now on the back, I've uh, done that. So I've got the extended carapace uh, basically section with these little magnetised adrenal glands. I'm going to take these off. These are just basically caps to cover the magnets up, uh, just to make it look a little, little bit more prettier. And uh, I've now finished painting up the wings, which I've got here. So I'm just going to pop those on for you. So you've got one that side and one that side, there you go. And then these little uh, glands will be, um, I can store them on the back, like so. So I uh, basically, so I don't lose them. There you go. Just uh, finishes them off quite nicely, I think. And that is how he looks. I'm uh, very happy with him, actually. He's come out really well. And I do eventually plan to, um, make some bone sabers as well so I can have them as uh, st uh, the swarm lord uh, not, is it swarm lord? yeah swarm lord um, so basically it just gives me the option to have anything I can have a, a foot tyrant, a wing tyrant, I can have the swarm lord just totally interchangeable which is brilliant just saves me uh, saves, saves some pennies basically so there you go so that is both of them in their full glory I think I am going to use this one as the uh, Warlord because, well, mainly because it's a newer model, but I think it does look pretty pretty mean. Uh, but in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Devourers on this one because um, he's probably going to be swooping more and shooting, whereas this one I put the Scything Talons on because he's probably going to be landing and getting into combat a bit more. Um, you know, I don't want to risk slay the warlord too much, so I probably won't be landing this one as much. So that's why I've gone for for that scenario. But yeah, there you go, all finished. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, watching me make these, and uh, hopefully you like the end results. Okay, that's it for me in this video. Thanks for watching.